his opponent. Well, Les, this is the uh, second first round HWA Heavyweight Championship tournament match that we have seen tonight. And it's going to be a rip snorter with Wee Wee in the ring now. And uh, don't let his hairstyle or his pants fool you. You can tell he's put together, but he has got one. Jim Cornette and I watched this young man. He came into Smoky Mountain an X number of years ago. Uh, helped put up the ring, was a bodyguard for the, the gangsters, and uh, my God, a long road in a short period of time. For well, and just a few years later, he is 100 pounds lighter. He's the best shape of his career as D'Lo Brown. And he is challenging now, Kiwi, in the first round of the HWA Heavyweight Championship Tournament. If D'Lo Brown or Kiwi advance, they will continue to the second round here. Look at D'Lo Brown. He looks like a greyhound. The athletic ability and the agility, as well as the power that he's always displayed, and whether D'Lo was a member of the Taste of Domination or the WWF European Champion or a member of the Tag Team Lowdown, he has always given it his all in the squared circle, and he is doing that here. Wait a minute. Springboard into a moonsault. And now, wait a minute. What? The referee? I tell you what, I don't know. I don't know what the heck to make of that situation because the referee was a little bit late. Just this, a little. This thing started out a little quickly. And uh, folks, that's what happens when you're doing live television. <laughs> yes, it does. You know, I was just thinking here, Jim, we've seen D'Lo do moonsaults at 300 pounds and now at about 245, lean and mean. He's got to be more mobile and just as tough. Well, Kiwi now innovative uh, rolling maneuver there. And, and like we said, don't let the hair fool you. Don't let the outlandish outfit fool you. You can tell that this young man is a very well put together athlete. And it appears that instead of mental insanity, which would be the obvious reason, the reason why he dresses and looks so completely ludicrous is to throw his opponents completely off and lull them into a false sense of, I don't know if it'd be security or insecurity. And this guy goes from Mr. Mello to insane in a matter of one second. He cranks it up 180 degrees. You know, uh, he's almost a larger version of Jamie Noble. Well, I have one word for Kiwi. Well, two words, Ritalin and therapy. <laughs> right now, D'Lo Brown tees off on his man, but there's a reversal. And Kiwi into the corner and meets that boot. And folks, we've heard about the HWA debut in Dayton on, uh, on Wednesday night, November 14th. Wait a minute, lateral press there. Kick out by D'Lo Brown, the Montgomery County Fairgrounds Coliseum in Dayton for the semifinals and the finals of the heavyweight championship tournament, among more. We've also heard about HWA returning to the Red Barn Flea Market on Saturday, October 27th at 7.30 in Batavia, Ohio. And don't forget the big Halloween bash at Jillian's in Covington, Kentucky, Wednesday night, October 31st. That's a 7.30 bell time as well. HWA action all over the Buckeye State. Look at Kiwi move. A pretty springboard into the... Sunset flip, but couldn't hold on. D'Lo gets the drop kick right in the mouth of the sequined one. And let's see who's gonna come up first. Referee Joe Copez counting on both men. D'Lo to his knees, a little ahead of Kiwi now. And Let's see who's going to get the advantage coming out of this one. Kiwi. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, swing and a block. Swing and a block again. D'Lo Brown putting those right ham hocks upside the head of Kiwi. The HWA Heavyweight Championship Tournament. The first round action. Kiwi down with a, a modified flapjack by D'Lo Brown. There's a leg lariat. D'Lo putting knots on Kiwi's head faster than he can spray his hair. Kiwi's hair laying down as D'Lo drives him. The whole Whoa. two count on the spine buster. That spine buster very reminiscent of the enforcer Arn Anderson and the power and explosiveness that he possessed. D'Lo Brown trying to figure out how to put this uh, controversial Kiwi away. D'Lo going to the top. The frog splash, one of his signature maneuvers. Can he pull it off here? No, oh, Kiwi rolled in. Nothing there but Matt and D'Lo Brown caught it. All right, we're almost, they've got to finish this thing. Somebody's got to score a win. We're running close to running out of air time. Oh, we're going right down to the final few seconds here as now D'Lo Brown trips his man. Boomerang into the turnbuckles. D'Lo, wait a minute, there's his move. Sky high, We're going to have to get out of here. And they score the ball. Join us next week for more great work.